Dear students, welcome to Tanishka Academy channel. Let us learn how we can uh, simulate automatic water irrigation system in a Tinkercad. So to do that you have to log in into your uh, Tinkercad account and uh, go to new design and uh, click on create circuit. So you will get, go to this space, workspace. You need an Arduino board. So select an Arduino board and you need a soil moisture sensor select one soil moisture sensor and uh, you need some more components like uh, BC motor so this will work as a pump in this uh, simulation and uh, you need a power supply select that can search it by typing so to operate a motor you need a supply then select another component that is a relay if you want to indicate the turn on and turn on of a motor you can even uh, show it on a LED so select an LED and if you are using LED to limit the current you have to have a register Now let us make connection, first let us connect uh, soil moisture sensor, it has uh, three pins, so one is for power supply that is VCC then ground and then the signal which can be given to our Arduino. So connect them quickly from 5 volt to VCC. Then from ground to ground of the soil moisture sensor so very simple to use so you can even change the color to differentiate the ground and power supply now give this to any analog input on the Arduino I am using A0 so the reading whatever soil moisture is reading the moisture content will be given to a naught pin and that is will be acting as an input to the arduino now let us make connection to the motor and a power supply pin number 12 you connect it to the supply then Pin number 8, you connect it to the ground, so I am changing the color so that I can easily identify the ground path. Pin number 6, connect it to one end of the motor. probably the positive one that is the red one and terminal one uh, can be given to the power supply so quickly make a connection then to activate the relay from the Arduino, you can use any digital input pin. Uh, pin number 5 of the relay, I will be giving it to one of the digital input. In this case, I will be using pin number 2. So this is a connection, let us make connection to the LED now. So 
So anode of the LED, give it to one pin, any one pin, then cathode, you give it to register and ground it to the, another end of the register should be grounded. So make a proper connection to the LED, like Here I told uh, connect anode to one pin. So here yeah, some mistake is there. I'll delete this. So pin number two I'm giving to anode then uh, pin number that is the cathode. I am grounding it through the register so that we can limit the current through the LED. So it does not uh, damage the LED. So this is the current uh, connection, circuit connection. Let us do some block coding now. Delete uh, default codes. I will tell you simple way in which it can be done. So first let us create one variable to store the moisture sensor value so I'll give soil underscore moisture then use this set moisture to and so we are reading it on a pin number A0 so input is in A0 go to input section read unlock pin because I have connected the input on the A0 If you are using digital pin, you can use digital pin. If you are using another other pins, you can use them. So here I have used as A0, so I am selecting it as A0. Now let us print the value of sensor to the serial monitor. So how to do that? There is a block, print to serial monitor. Then in place of hello world, I will use my variable, that is soil underscore moisture. So drag this and drop in this box. Now let us simulate this two line code and see if we can display some moisture value onto the serial monitor. I will vary the, you can vary by dragging this, see the moisture content is changing. So I am able to read the moisture value from the sensor on the pin number A0. Now let us write code to trigger relay that can turn on our motor if the value of the moisture is above certain level. Okay, so to do that what I will do, I will use a control statement like if it is less than 200, moisture content is less than 200, I may turn on the motor to pump the water if the moisture content is more than 200 I can turn off the motor so I am using if else statement then so here I have to use a control statement so I will use math blocks to make a decision so drag this block and place it here so here I have to uh, compare the moisture, so I will use the moisture, drop this variable and compare it with let us say 200. So if it is less than 200 our uh, motor should turn on, so the relay is connected to pin number 2, so that's why I have selected pin number 2 to activate the relay which in turn activates the motor so this uh, second is I am adding because I want to even indicate it on a LED so that LED is connected to pin number 12 so else uh, these uh, if uh, moisture content is more than 
200 the both led as well as the motor should be off so this is a simple program and let us simulate this this is a simple code and in a arduino this is how it appears let us simulate and so click on the simulation so since the moisture content is less initially motor started running you can see the motor is rotating as you increase and uh, the moisture content becomes more than 200 it is turning off let us even check it on a serial monitor value 700 something and you can see the motor is not rotating at all okay i am zooming it so that you can see this let us change this uh, in a uh, slowly so that you can see see if 203 still motor is off if it is less than 200 it is started running as it is rotating so it can pump the water when the moisture content is less this is how you can uh, simulate uh, the soil moisture interface the soil moisture sensor to turn on the pump and simulate it on a tinker cad and use it in your project or your experiment thank you so much for watching and share like and subscribe thank you so much